You are watching Eternal Warrior on MT Joe Academy featuring Rex Start. Hey everyone, it's Chris, MT Joe's Rex Start. Just giving you a quick deck tech on um, today's deck you're going to be seeing in the videos. Um, I, I was writing an article for another site this past week and um, was sort of revisiting the oddness of that um, 2007 uh, Grand Prix Columbus uh, Grand Prix Flash where um, against the <laughs> the might of one of the most dangerous combo decks ever, some mono black aggro deck with uh, Order of the Ebon Hand made uh, two in the top eight. So um, I had been wanting to put Master of Feast into something um, for a while just to give him a go, some kind of Dark Ritual deck. I like Dark Ritual and fair things. Um, you'll hear me remark a couple times in the videos, it just uh, reminds me of the way we used to play um, back in the old days before Dark Ritual was this nasty thing enabling storm combos and the like. Um, it was just something to make you a bunch of guys real quick. So, um, anyways, uh, so I wanted to try to throw some, throw them in something, and so I thought, ah, let's just do a quick and dirty um, mono black aggro shell, and I ended up settling on a zombie theme here. So I've got um, Carnifage and Sarcomancy and Gravecrawler. You could probably go with Diagraph Ghoul if you prefer over Carnifage. Uh, it comes into play tapped, but um, doesn't require a life payment after that. Um, instead of something like Order of the Ebon Hand with Strong Gold Crusader, not only is it a zombie, so it gets my zombie count up for Gravecrawler, um, but it um, also uh, can get flying, which I think is relevant um, with things like True Name Nemesis and, and such around, um, so I can slip a GTA on a flyer, for instance. Um, Master of the Feast um, is uh, the reason I was kind of wanting to try this. Um, he obviously gives the opponent chance to draw into an answer, but um, if they don't draw into an answer, um, there aren't a lot of flyers in the format right now, so uh, this guy could very quickly end the game. Um, and um, I wanted to try out a couple copies of Erebos. Um, I figure eh, some of these Sarcomancies might be hanging around later um, and possibly could turn on Erebos. I do have Liliana and um, uh, these guys with double black, um, so it'd be an interesting thing to just try out. A um, couple Lilies, a couple Dismembers, a couple GTAs, uh, Disruption Suite, Him to Turok, and Cabal Therapy. Uh, most of these decks ran like Thoughtseize or Duress, um, depending on the era, but um, I like Cabal Therapy a little bit better. Um, it's just, I just like that spell. Um, sometimes you get a two for one out of it. Um, certainly with um, things like Gravecrawler in the deck, I have a chance that I can. Um, a sack of grave crawler to flashback a therapy and then replay the grave crawler which is nice i always like doing that with blood gas grave crawler not quite as good but still decent at that um, mana base 20 lands um four wasteland 16 swamps i kept this pretty straight and simple um obviously if you were playing blood gas or something like that you'd want to play your fetch lands here um i also thought it was nice that other than the wastelands and the lilies most of this deck is fairly affordable and in fact if you played zombies in standard um, last year then you have most of these cards except for the wastelands um, which I know are outrageously expensive right now but um, that wasn't always the case um, anyways uh, the sideboard um, I knew against non-creature opponents I would want to take out the GTAs, so I've got a couple duress there. Um, i got a couple copies of Underworld Dreams, which originally I was going to put in a whole bunch of these and really ramp up the devotion aspect with Erebos, and I was going to get them with Master of the Feast. You know, that's not really worth it. You know, oh, you take one extra damage. Well, okay. I mean, if you're playing this, um, it's basically I'm bringing this in against uh, combo decks that are going to have to draw a ton of cards that's that's basically the point of this um it's it's very good against Brizzle brand as an answer in in mono black um uh, it's because it punishes it it's out there and it punishes them for using his um his draw ability um so i guess I, even in mono black i could play oubliette or something i suppose and um and just get rid of um Grizzle brand, but this is something I was trying in Jund, and so I just wanted to try this again here. Um, and of course, it does help with devotion and stuff. Um, Leyline of the Void, pretty obvious. Um, Massacre, uh, this is good against the Maverick and Death and Taxes type decks, and sometimes, because if you have Dark Ritual, uh, you can manage to hard cast this thing um, in a timely fashion in a pinch. Um, so I, anyways, it's a spell that I really like. Um, a couple of null rods to help out against um, various combo decks and um, artifact aggro. 
and a couple copies of Andrew New Play because I really don't have a ton of um, removal in here. So I thought I could be in trouble against things like Elves or Merfolk or something just in case that popped up. So uh, anyways, that's the deck. Um, I've got uh, some match play videos coming up for you here. So uh, enjoy.